In this lesson, we are going to explore the concept of atmospheric pressure and some of its application. Gas pressure. Since both solid and liquid exert pressure, does gas also exert pressure too? You may think that gas are light and doesn't weigh too much or okay, to exert pressure, but no matter how light a gas is, it still has weight. Thus, it will exert pressure. But though we do not usually feel it, but we are constantly under the effect of gas pressure. Um, the surrounding air or the atmosphere is actually exerting pressure on us. And this gas pressure uh, that is acting on us is known as the atmospheric pressure. So just think like when we are at ground or sea level, it's like at the bottom of a huge swimming pool that's made of air. All of the atmospheric uh, atmosphere weight is actually acting on us. But however, at higher altitude, uh, locations such as high up in the mountains, um, you find that the atmospheric pressure is less than at the sea level. It is because there's less air that's exerting on top uh, to exert that pressure. So uh, comparing A and B, you find that the pressure at A is actually less than pressure at B. So a person at A, you find that there's just only this amount of air that's pressing on him, and by pressure at B, you find that there's actually more pressure that's um, here. So it's similar to swimming in water, the greater the depth, the greater the pressure. These are some video demonstrations to e demonstrate the effects of uh, uh, atmospheric pressure. So the first one is breaking a ruler using a piece of newspaper. Let's look at this demonstration. Okay, notice that he actually pushes, uh, smooth the newspaper over the uh, ruler and he breaks it. And the newspaper is able to hold the ruler in its place. Okay. The next demonstration is slipping a glass of water that's just covered by a cardboard. Okay, let's watch this demonstration. Find that this is a glass of water. And using a piece of paper, it just cover and flip over, and he releases it. You notice that the water doesn't fall out of the uh, due to gravity. Okay, so why is this happening? You find that it is because there's atmospheric pressure that's around us that makes the both demonstration works. Okay, looking for well, the first a demonstration, you find that the atmospheric pressure is actually exerting a force on the newspaper and prevents the ruler from moving when it's hit. So there's actually the uh, pressure that's over here that's acting on the newspaper and it holds, it holds the ruler in place so that when the force hits this part, this part would, uh, this part acts a pivot and this would break. The second demonstration is also because it's the atmospheric pressure that held the cardboard in place when the cup is inverted over. So we find that this is actually a simplified diagram. So the uh, water is actually pushing down, but due to the atmospheric pressure that's actually acting up, you find that the water can't get up or can't go, can't come out due to gravity. It is actually a misconception that pressure only acts downwards. Okay, in fact, uh, atmospheric pressure can act upwards or uh, sideways. So the direction of pressure for fluid is that it can actually act in all direction. So what determines the pressure is that it's dependent on the difference between the pressures. Okay, what do I mean by this? You find that if uh, one side is of a high pressure, this is of a low pressure, the direction of pressure will be from high to low. So the pressure will be acting over like this. Okay, so if you find that in the center is a high pressure region, surrounding is a low pressure region, you find that the pressure will exert outwards in all directions, okay, not just only down. Or the opposite, you find that if the surrounding is actually of a high pressure and this is low pressure, the pressure will be acting inwards. Okay, so direction of pressure really depends on the, the difference between two pressures region. And you always be from high to low. 
So why don't we feel the atmospheric pressure? Okay, since the air is actually acting on us and it can actually hold the newspaper in place or hold the uh, cardboard when the water flips over. Okay, the answer is that it is because within our body, it, there's also similar pressure that's exerted outwards. Okay, so air is actually exerting on us, but we also have pressure that's actually within our body that's actually countering it. So therefore, we don't feel any atmospheric pressure. So some application of this atmospheric pressure, uh, you find that is actually uh, enable a suction cup to work. So a suction cup relies on the surrounding atmospheric pressure to help it cling to the wall. Okay, you find that the suction cup is nothing uh, adhesive or sticky about it. So what you need to do is to uh, press the suction cup in. Okay, so as you press, we are actually pushing the air that was inside the suction cup out. So the air went out. So you find that there's actually less air. And less air means that the pressure over inside is actually very low. And creating a pressure difference between inside and outside the cup. Remember, surrounding is actually air, but you find that as you squeeze the air out, you find that you create a low pressure, and over here, this is considered as in relatively higher pressure. So what will happen is that the atmospheric pressure outside the cup would then uh, press onto the suction cup, causing it to uh, stick to the wall. So that's how a suction cup actually works. Another application is vacuum packing. Okay, this is a video. So you have this lady that's actually putting a vacuum cleaner which actually sucks out the air out of this uh, vacuum pack and we see what happens. Okay, you notice that the uh, bag becomes smaller and smaller as there are more air is being sucked out of the vacuum pack and the bag becomes uh, compressed. So, you find that uh, what the video shows is air being sucked out of the bag by the vacuum cleaner and since there's less air in the bag, there's also less air pressure in the bag. And the external atmospheric pressure is now larger than the internal pressure of the bag and therefore the excess external pressure will start to press onto the bag. As more and more uh, air gets sucked out of the bag, the internal pressure gets lower and lower, and thus the atmospheric pressure will exert an even greater force on the bag, and the bag will shrink further, and so therefore making it more compact. Okay, that's all for today's lesson. Please subscribe and support my channel. For my other physics video lesson arranged according to topics, please visit my blog at boringphysicsteachers.wordpress.com. You can subscribe to my channel to be informed when I upload new physics video lessons. Thank you.